Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessia Flam and today we're going to talk about personal pronouns and accusative and dative prepositions. More specifically, we're going to do a quiz together based on those two topics and see how to understand it and how to use personal pronouns in German language. So, without further ado, let's start with the quiz. So here you see questions or like sentences and the question is what to put into the gap. Right now you need to pause the video and write down your answers according to your knowledge. Don't go in the beginning of the video where I showed that the belly. <laughs> write down what you think is right. So welcome back. And now let's see the correct answers to the quiz and discuss why it is accusative and why it is dative, right? So sentence number one. Ich kann ohne dich nicht leben. I can't live without you. Why it is dich? Well, because ohne is a, uh, is a preposition that always comes with accusative and as you can see here on the screen there are always accusative prepositions and always dative and that helps us to identify the case right sentence number two er bleibt heute bei mir in this sentence we use dative because it's by you know and the preposition by always comes with dative and as we know from the tabelle in the beginning Ich in dative is mir. Isn't that like a magic? <laughs> anyway, sentence number three. Ich habe von ihnen schon viel gehört. I heard a lot about them. So again, preposition von is always dative preposition and they, also sie, changes into ihnen, as you can see on your screen right now. So basically, first you identify the case, right? And in this particular example, it's dative because of phone. Phone is always dative preposition. And then you need to remember how the pronoun has to be changed in this case. So we have Z in nominative and we know it's dative. So Z becomes inner and you can see it in the correct answers. I hope you answered correctly. Let me know in the comments. Was it complicated or not? Sentence number four. Ich will nicht mit ihm spielen. Right? So in nominative er becomes im in dative as you can see on your screen right now. And again, why it is dative? Because preposition mit always comes with dative. And the last sentence is seine Oma hat sehr viel für uns getan. Preposition für is always accusative. So we know that the case is accusative and wir in accusative is uns. Isn't that easy peasy? So I know guys, I get sometimes too excited about German grammar, but in this video I wanted to talk about personal pronouns and how they change in accusative and dative, as you can see again in my lovely tabel here. And also I wanted to use uh, German prepositions because it is the topic we discussed in our previous videos and yeah, combine it in one wonderful, <laughs> interesting quiz. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please give me a like. And uh, if you are not subscribed, consider to subscribe. Also, danke fürs Zuschauen, danke für eure Aufmerksamkeit. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching and see you next time.